WingGAT, a Windows Package Manager that is Microsoft's belated attempt to duct tape a package manager onto Windows. Decades after Linux nailed it, it installs apps with a terminal command, finally giving Windows users a taste of what the rest of the world has had since the 90s. It works surprisingly well, which is almost suspicious. WingGAT 1.0 was originally released in 2021, like a half-hearted apology for decades of next next finish installer hell. The Windows community reacted with cautious optimism. Finally, a package manager, then Microsoft reinvented apt but worse memes. Whether true or a tale, not long before WingGAT was announced, Microsoft has invited an open source developer, Kevan BG, for a chat. Kevin coincidentally had an open source project called AppGAT, a sleek open source Windows package manager that worked. Nothing came out of the chat and Kevin was ghosted for months. Then out of the blue, Microsoft has announced WingGAT at build 2020 with no mention of AppGAT or any credit to Kevin. The community cried out, Microsoft shrugged and BG published a blog post that read like a polite mic drop. Sure, Kevin built AppGAT, but he didn't patent the concept of package managers. In fact, there were tons of them already before AppGAT existed. Microsoft saw a gap in the ecosystem, did their homework and build their own tool. That's called business, not theft. Microsoft had every right to build WingGAT and did what big companies do, move fast and let the blog posts sort out the PR mess later. With all respect to Kevin, his public standoff felt more like wounded pride than injustice and Microsoft didn't owe him a seat at the table. They owed users a tool that shipped with Windows and they delivered. WingGAT is part of Windows 11 by default, so you get it straight away with no additional ceremony. You just pop a terminal app, type WingGAT install NeoVim and get NeoVim up and running running in seconds. WingGAT can do all sorts of stuff, like search for new software, keep it up to date, pin packages, uninstall them, and so on. WingGAT packages come from Microsoft Community Package Repository, a GitHub hosted collection of manifest files that tell WingGAT how to install a particular software. Think of it as a glorified spreadsheet of app recipes, each one pointing to an installer hosted elsewhere, usually on vendor's website or GitHub itself. There is no restriction on this. Volunteers read crowdsourced labor, submit manifests, Microsoft eventually reviews them and WinGet fetches the installer from wherever it's told, along with additional instructions to make it actually install and work. WinGet supports a mix of installer formats because Microsoft knows better than anyone else that Windows is a zoo of legacy and modern packaging, like EXD installers, which WinGet can run, but you are at the mercy of what the vendor has put into that. More predictable MSI installers, which are easier to automate, the new shitty MSIX format, which is to be fair is more secure, sandboxed, but mostly ignored by third-party developers because of clunky tooling steep learning curve that doesn't pay off and incompatibility with most of the legacy junk we actually need to ship and zip installers which simply unpack software into a dedicated folder. For package creators, WingGet provides WingGet Create CLI tool which makes manifest creation a breeze. It scrapes metadata from installers, autofills versioning and even validates the manifest before submission and then even submits it for you by automatically creating a PR in WingGet Community Repository. WinGet already has a great ecosystem that allows you to publish from GitHub Actions, Azure DevOps, or any CI CD pipeline. Microsoft validates packages for any silent install flags, installer integrity, version consistency, and makes sure that package actually installs properly, which puts the trust in the hands of end users as well. Currently, WinGet is a way ahead of its competitors, like Chocolatey, the legacy warhorse, which feels like installing software with a Victorian butler, formal, slow, and prone to drama. It's like trying to package in MSIX, but even worse. Scoop, which is supposed to be elegant but extremely fragile, slow and mostly makes software management harder than by hand. Ninite, with its limited catalog, no script or customizations, cheap, predictable and nutritionally empty. Great for IT interns. Or AppGet, which died so WingGet could live. In short, WingGet wins because it's the default. Microsoft owns the OS and package manager. It works in both hobbyist and enterprise pipelines and supposedly better alternatives are utter garbage. At the end of the day, WingGet is a beautiful and clean and serves perfectly well to power users, admins and developers alike. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.